Why am I cleaning up this mess? I'm a high school junior called Koichi Amamiya, and as you can see, I'm in the middle of cleaning up my classroom. Hey, work faster. Uh, okay, sure. You should be thankful that I'm here. I'm scared. Stop looking at me with that mask. The girl wearing the mask is Akari Sasano. She was a delinquent. Rumor had it that those who saw her horrifying face would be frozen in fear. That's why she hid her face behind a mask. Having that look made her a fearsome fighter. It was no wonder no one got mad at her when she made a nerd like me do her cleaning duties. What the heck are you doing? The sun is about to set. I'm sorry. Uh. Huh? Uh. Oh, I've never seen her face before. It looked like she had some kind of rash on her face. Even still, though, she looked super cute. You, you saw it, didn't you? You saw my face. No, I didn't see you. You were only visible for a second. It wasn't enough to see you properly. I... I... I'm gonna remember this! Remember what? In the end, I had to clean the whole classroom by myself. What was Akari panicking about? I thought she wore that mask to intimidate her enemies. Could it be? Oh, Koichi. Welcome back. Chiori? Sorry I'm dressed like this. I came to talk to your sister about the wedding. Shiori is as beautiful as ever! That gorgeous woman is Shiori Hanazawa. She's my sister's best friend. I've known her since I was young. Her brother is a classmate of mine, but I don't really want to talk about that. What? Are you getting married, Shiori? Yeah, next month. He's a senior in college, and he's a very kind person. When you were in high school, you always used to say, I'm gonna be single for the rest of my life. That's because I had atopic dermatitis, and the boys in my class made fun of me. Atopic? It's okay, though. Now that I have beautiful skin, I managed to find a nice guy. Hey, Shiori, how did you cure your atopic dermatitis? Huh? The next day. Here he comes, Koichi Amamiya. What's going on in this classroom? It's amazing how delinquents are allowed to do such things and get away with it. Did you tell anyone about my face? No, I didn't tell anyone. I knew she'd ask me that. What am I gonna do? Is she gonna beat me up? Then you can rest assured for the time being. Oh, this is gonna end more peacefully than I feared. All that's left to do is beat you until your memory is wiped. Wait, wait, wait! If you beat me with that bamboo sword, I'll lose all my memory since I was born! Um, I think I can help you. That's why I came here to talk to you. Huh? How do you think you can help me? You have atopic dermatitis, right? Is that why you hide your face with a mask? So what? You can't do anything, even if you know my secret. I know someone else who had atopic dermatitis, and I asked them how they managed to alleviate their symptoms. Did you tell that person about me? I did, but I didn't tell them your name. Hey, you said earlier you didn't tell anyone. Well, why would you go to such lengths to try to help someone like me, whom you've barely ever spoken to? Because I know how much pain you're going through. What do you mean? Don't talk to me like you know how I feel. The girl I was just telling you about was always being teased by boys at school because of her atopic dermatitis. Maybe you've had a similar experience. If so, I want to help you in any way that I can. Will you promise not to tell anyone about my face? I want you to believe me. Okay, I believe you. Thanks. Thus, I began helping Akari cure her atopic dermatitis. There wasn't much I could do but explain the methods that Shiori told me about that I wrote down in my notebook and check in on Akari's skin from time to time. Even so, Akari listened to me, a novice, and took my advice seriously. Seeing her like that made me want to help her even more. I wanted to help her get over her condition. A month later... Oh wow! I can't believe your skin has improved so much! To be honest... 
I'm a little surprised too. This is the first time in my life that my skin feels this good. Didn't you ever go to the hospital? I did, but they didn't manage to fix it. I guess the experience of someone who's gone through it is more valuable. I'm so grateful to Shiori. I'm sure Shiori will be happy to hear that. And to you, too. What? Nothing. I said you're a weird guy who meddles with people's atomic dermatitis. That's a terrible thing to say. But I guess it's better than being beaten until my memory is wiped. You should really air out your skin. No, I'll never take off my mask. Why not? Why? Even if my atopic dermatitis gets better, no one would want to see my ugly face. Huh? You're gorgeous! Hey! You're an idiot! You can't suddenly call someone gorgeous like that! Of course I can! I don't like it when cute girls say they're ugly! How do you think we ordinary looking people feel when you say that? Why are you getting so mad? You're being so mean! Cause you're so cute! You're the most beautiful girl in school! Shut up! Shut up or I'll hit you! Akari, you're talking out of turn! She's so cute. I really enjoy being with her. One day. We've got physics class next. I think I'm gonna do badly on the exam this time. <laughs> Seriously? Your sister got dumped again? Yeah, her room was very messy and her boyfriend didn't like it. How messy was it? Oh, by the way, my sister's getting married. Oh, really? That's great. Uh... What, you're not happy for her? No, I feel like she's lying to the guy she's marrying. Huh? Do you know what atopic dermatitis is? Yeah, I know it. It's a uh, kind of rash, right? My sister has it. His name is Takashi Hanazawa. He's Chiori's younger brother. Chiori is a super nice person, but his character is not so good. She used to have these weird spots all over her face. She looked like a real monster. Nowadays, I don't know if it's makeup or whatever, but it's not visible anymore. And that makes me feel even worse. You don't have to say it like that. You don't have to care so much about my sister. That's not what I meant. She's trying to hide the fact that she's a monster from the man she's gonna marry. What an evil woman. I'm gonna have to show him an old photo of her. Takashi, that's enough. What? She's your sister. Stop saying bad things about Shiori. Hey, this is none of your business. She's my sister, and I can say whatever I want about her. She might be your sister, but you're going too far. She's not a monster. I'm just telling the truth. Then I'll tell the truth too. She already cried a lot and was very hurt because of insensitive people like you. She made a huge effort to cure her atopic dermatitis. You're more of a monster than she is for speaking that way about her. Is that all you have to say? No, stop it. Akari? Take back everything you just said about Chiori. Akari? Hey, why are you getting involved, Akari? This fight is between Koichi and me. Is that a fight? It looked like you were just showing us how stupid you are. What? Oh, I get it. Rumor has it that you two have been getting along very well lately. You couldn't keep quiet because your boyfriend was in danger, right? That too. That too? To be honest, my guts are boiling after hearing you make fun of Shiori. Oh, Akari, your mask! Is that Akari? She's so cute. I heard rumors that Akari was ugly. Who on earth spread that lie? What you mean? I also had atopic dermatitis until a while ago, but I managed to cure it thanks to Shiori. No way! You called her a monster because she cured her disease through hard work. Are you saying I'm a monster too then? Well, that's... If you want to be an idiot, go ahead and do it. But don't make fun of people who are trying hard to be better. Ugh. Take it back! I'm sorry for calling my sister a monster. Akari took off her mask and revealed her true face to everyone. It turned out she was a very strong person. Then, 
Thanks for helping me yesterday, Akari. It was nothing. I couldn't allow him to carry on with what he was doing. Besides, I'm the one who should be thanking you. Why? You got angry at him for speaking badly about Chiori and me. Thanks. This is the first time she's ever thanked me. I should have said something to him first, but I froze. I didn't know you had it in you to be like that. I'm a coward, to be honest. When I was in elementary school, my classmates made fun of me for having atopic dermatitis. Been hiding my face with this mask ever since. Insensitive people like Takashi annoy me, but before I can do anything about it, I remember the past and get scared. But you gave me the courage to say something back to him. Akari. I'm done with talking about this. Let's eat our lunch. Sure, but I'll continue to take care of your skin from now on. Are you my doctor now? Thanks, Koichi. I know why my atopic dermatitis got better so fast now. What? I've actually been wondering about that too. It's because you've been acting like a doctor that specializes in atopic diseases. I heard that girls become more and more beautiful when they fall in love. Huh? Love? Oh my gosh, you're so dumb! I'm telling you that I like you. What? Whoa! Why are you so surprised? I mean, you eat lunch with me every day, and you're so nice to me. Anyone would like you. I'm not used to being told that someone likes me. Hmm, so you haven't been with anyone yet? It's not like that. You're lying. Your face has got all red. So, what is it then? P please take care of me. That weekend. Akari, your mood has changed so much. What's wrong? You like me when I'm like this, don't you? Huh? You said you'd continue to take care of my skin, right? You know, I got a nice prize in a comic book that I bought. If you sign this marriage certificate, I have a feeling it'll do crazy good things to my skin. That? I think you're getting a bit ahead of yourself. Our relationship rapidly progressed, but I'll save that story for another time. <laughs>